Hello, as you know, my name is Kainson, the Tech Pro, and today we are going to continue with day 5 of our 30 days challenge in HackerRank, and today we are going to be talking about loops. Again, if you are joining for the first time, please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below so that you don't miss any updates, and this way you kind of be on track, and at the end of the day you should be able to face any programming or software engineering interview you might come across. So this time, let's see, the difficulty in this case is easy. In this challenge, we will use loops to do some math. Now the task says, given an integer n, print its first 10 multiples, each multiple n times i, where 1 is less than i is less than 10, should be printed on a new line in the format n times i is equal to result. So in this case, I'm going to just go to loops and maybe we're going to just uh, write something. So if you are giving, let's say, a value of 6, the multiples will be, will be 6 and 12 and have 24 and 6. Actually, we also have 18. So it's basically like this, 6 times one equals uh, six and we have six times two equals twelve six times three equals eighteen and these are the multiples these are the multiples and this is n and this is our counter i so how do we translate this into code let's go back to hacker and i think this will be the most interesting one or the easiest challenge because it's just going to be so easy so we are going to use a for loop i'm going to say for i in range and they say we need to print 10 multiples so i'm going to go from 1 to 11 because range function is not inclusive of the last argument so i'm going to go 1 to 11 to capture 1 to 10. now the multiple of n for so I'm going to first write i here. So the multiple for i or for of n for the first one for i is equal to one is equal is going to be n times i, right? So this is a multiple. So if you iterate one more time, it's going to be i is equal to two. So in this case, we have multiple is equal to um, n times 1, we have n times 2, and so on. Alright, so the next thing we want to do is to print it out. So I'm going to now print it in the format they want us to print it, right? So let's look at the format they want us to use. And the format says it's going to be like this. So I think the best thing to do is to just call this results. Let's call this results. That's going to make it very easy. Now, I like using this print format method, so it's going to be these times this equals this. I think this is, a, is the easiest way to format your output in Python dot format and specify the first one is going to be A, the second one is going to be I, and the third one is going to be what? Results. 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 Perfect. So how easy it is, guys, you can see in just very few lines of code, I think we got it. But let's try to run it and see. We never can tell if it works. Let me just run this code and let's see. Um, yeah, it passed the test case one. Let me now submit and let's see if it passed all the test cases. All right, let's see. One, two, three. So everything worked perfectly well. So I hope you enjoy this and I hope you are learning and remember to subscribe and i will meet you in the next challenge i remain kind on the tech pro and i'm always there for you